Hi. Now, in this example, this is an example you might like to try if you've not tried it already, it's all about working out whether events are mutually exclusive or independent. So we've got this figure here, it says figure one, it says shows how 25 people travel to work. The travel to work is represented by the events B for bicycle, T for train and W for walking. And what you've got to do in part A is write down two of these events that are mutually exclusive and give a reason for your answer. Well, when two events are mutually exclusive, there's no overlap between the events. The intersection is, in other words, zero. So we could have, for instance, the events T and W, T and W, or, okay, you could have B with W. There's no overlap between those two events. So your answer could be T and W. It could be B and W. All right, they only want one pair, so it doesn't really matter which one of these pairs you have. And you could say because what we've got is that for this one, T intersected with W, is equal to zero, or as some people say, the empty set, okay? And that's the symbol. And for B and W, obviously it's gonna be much the same because it's gonna be because B intersected with W equals the empty set, the null set. Okay, now in part B, we need to determine whether or not B and T are independent events. Now, this is a rule you should know, that if two events, B and T in this case, are independent, let's just mark that in, if B and T are independent, then the rule that you should be aware of is this, that the probability of the intersection of them, B and T, okay, would be equal to the probability of B multiplied by the probability of T. Or the other way around, obviously it doesn't matter whether you do T, probability of T times probability of B. But nonetheless, this result would hold. Well, we need to check that out. We can work out quite easily what the probability of B intersected with T is. The probability of B intersected with T is this area here. And that is five people out of 25. If you add all of these values up, you're gonna get 25 in total. So the probability of B intersection T is five out of 25. Five twenty-fifths then, okay? Which reduces down to one fifth. Now we can work out quite separately what the probability of B times the probability of T is. So we've got the probability of B multiplied by the probability of T. Well, the probability of B, everything in here, those people that cycle, okay, to work, is a total of nine. And that's out of 25, so you've got 9 out of 25 for the probability of B, and we're multiplying that with the probability of T, those that travel to work by train. That's in this set here, a total of 8. So you've got 8 out of 25. And if you multiply these two together, what you get is 72 out of 625. So clearly, because these two probabilities are not the same, we can say that therefore B and T are not independent, okay? And that's certainly one way of going about this particular problem, all right?